Good afternoon. My name is Peter Mothy, and I'm here on behalf of Trademark to present to you a slide that'll identify and, and illustrate one of the great discrepancies uh, in the markets in recent years. And in recent years, I mean in terms of decades. In recent months, there's been a great discrepancy in the interest rate market between what the market perceives as being the future path of the Federal Reserve Board and what the Federal Reserve Board, in all of its many speeches that it meets, makes on a weekly basis, in terms of what the next uh, progression of interest rate moves are going to be through the rest of 2023 and into 2024. So in the last year, as we all know, the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates substantially. In fact, more aggressively than in many decades in the past. Now we stand at a little over 5% as the effective rate for federal funds, which is what the Federal Reserve controls. These are short-term interest rates. Now, the open market, meaning the, the market, the interest rate market that the Fed does not control, is already pricing interest rates and debt instruments, meaning treasury bonds, treasury notes, and treasury bills going out into the future with disregard for what the Federal Reserve has been adamant about in terms of what their plan is. So let's take a look at a chart that will help illustrate this. So if we take a look at this graph, this shows where we have been since 2018 in terms of the Federal Reserve's effective interest rates. Well, we can see where in the 2018 and 19 period, the effective rate of federal funds came up to about almost two and a half percent. When the COVID crisis came about, federal funds went down to effectively zero. Now, this is the steep increase in interest rates that the Federal Reserve Board has implemented since early 2022. Well, here we are in the second quarter of 2023, and the Federal Reserve is adamant that they are going to leave rates high for the balance of the year and into 2024. This has been said by many of the Federal Reserve governors and has been reported by Chairman Powell in many of his press conferences. Now, this is illustrated by the, the dashed line, the red dashed line labeled A. They say that they've raised interest rates sufficiently and they're going to leave them here for the balance of the year. Here's where the interesting, the really interesting item comes in. The bond market doesn't believe any part of this statement from the Federal Reserve. The bond market is already pricing in a full 1% decrease in the effective rate of interest rates or the Federal Reserve's uh, Fed funds by the end of the year in early January. That's the line I've drawn here, which is B. Now, obviously, only one of these two can be correct. And whichever is not correct, there's going to be an adjustment in the marketplace. Now, here's the other part to keep in mind. We recognize this at trade. We don't take sides in this. We take sides on the, on, on the side of what's likely to happen. Right now, the Federal Reserve controls interest rates, and they say interest rates are going to stay high. And that benefits all of our clients. So we're going to manage portfolios accordingly. 
However, we do recognize that the bond market, in all of its wisdom, the bond market has a lot of really smart people who are anticipating interest rates coming down. Only time will tell. So if this is another one of those graphs we'll have to visit later on this year. But in the meantime, this discrepancy between the Federal Reserve and the bond market is really worth noting. I'm Peter Mothy for Trademark Capital Management.